Hi everyone, it's Tanya Gibbs and today I'm going to share with you how to take your 12 by 12 printables and shrink them down to fit a standard printer size of 8.5 by 11 or A4. So I am using Acrobat Pro today for my example and I'm also using Digi Downloads from Marion Smith Designs. Uh, these are from the Scarlet Collection so if you really like what you see here please go visit MarionSmithDesigns.com and purchase these printables. They're absolutely gorgeous. So the designs are actually designed for a 12 by 12 page. And if you have a 12 by 12 printer, great. If you don't, uh, some people are a little worried that they won't be able to print them, but that's not true. So when you go into Acrobat, whether you're using Acrobat Reader or you're ac using a full blown version of Acrobat or any version of Acrobat, the steps are gonna be about the same. The menus may look a little bit different, but you still have the same process. So we're gonna go up to File, and go to print or you could select control P from your from your shortcut keys in this di this dialogue will pop up after you hit control P or you choose file print uh, the first thing in this box shows you that this is the printer that you currently have selected so make sure you have the right printer and you can always you know click on this down arrow to select a different printer option and most of us have our printers already set to print to a standard size, whatever that standard size happens to be for your where you live. Mine happens to be 8.5 by 11 because I'm here in the United States. This dialog box, or this part of the dialog box, is actually a thumbnail image of what is going to print when you say print this document. Inside, everything inside of this black box is actually part of your printing. Notice that I have a gray area here that it looks like a quarter inch border all the way around. That is because the printer that I have selected I do not have in the properties I do not have it set to print borderless. Therefore the printer asks that we leave a quarter of an inch margin around the page. So this is showing me that this area is not printable. So if I print this as is right now, it's going to print 8 inches wide by 8 inches tall because it's going to allow for a quarter of an inch on this side and a quarter of an inch on this side. Anything that is white represents the printable area for your sheet of paper. So if you're using a 4, you would have to do the math on what are you know, the dimensions for your, for your size. Because uh, I think A4 paper, I think it's still eight and a half wide, but or at least eight inches wide, but it's a little longer than 11 inches. So you would have to do the math for that. I'm not familiar with that. So right now in Acrobat, because I'm using the Pro, we see these little thumbnails. If you're using a previous version or the Acrobat Reader, you may actually see tabs that are located here. Just find the size tab, select it, and then come down to this area where it says your size options. You want to print fit or shrink oversized pages. Either one of those will actually shrink your design from 12 inches to the exact uh, maximum printing area for your printer or paper selection. The other thing you could do is print actual size and what this means is it's saying okay I have this 12 inch design but my paper size is 8.5 by 11 so if you'll notice here my thumbnail has actually changed to the dimensions of the 12 by 12 but what has happened is this this pink box has showed up around this uh, area here and this image is lit up in this area. Anything that's located inside of the gray area we would consider that cropped or not printed. Anything inside of here that is visibly lit is physically what is going to print on your design and it's printing it at actual size as Marion designed it. And normally when it does the uh, actual size it takes the dimensions of the design from the center out and it prints from the center out into those dimensions that are established by your printer so I hope that helps clear things up you have some other options in here I encourage you to go and explore them one that I really like are these multiples and what this does is I can set this grid up for two images to print on a row and two in a column 
so I will end up with four prints on a page. So if you're doing a smaller project and you would like to shrink these designs down to fit that smaller project, this is a way to do it. If you want to maximize this area in here, you can always change this to one by two and notice that the image got a little bit larger. So let Acrobat do the math on shrinking and, and putting things together for you. Another option you have is the booklet option, which means that it's gonna print them landscape side by side, which might be great if you're making a mini album, because then all you have to do is trim off the top and the bottom and then fold it in half here at the center. So I hope this helps with you guys with your printing options and uh, if this was helpful, let me know. And if also, if um, you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.